guys, welcome back to the Chase Center here. It is Miss Shantae and it is Motivational Monday. Wow, we have your word of the week. We also have a new year. It is 2021 and with the new year, a lot of people decide that they're going to do things differently, enhance things, do things better than what they've done in the past. And so that brings a very appropriate word of the week today. So make sure you have that paper or pencil, something to write with and something to write on and let's get started. Our word of the week is goal. Hmm, goal. Have you ever heard of the word goal? I'm sure that you have. We are going to write the word saying each letter as we write it aloud. So go ahead and grab your pencil or whatever you choose to write with and let's spell the word goal. Goal is spelled G O a L goal and if we put an S on the end we could have more than one goal and so when we think about the meaning of the word goal you may know this in two different ways if you play sports you may have a reference there and or if you've used it to um, decide on things and you may know it from there as well so I want you to take this time to share with someone closest to you what do you know? What is the meaning of the word goal? All right, come on back, come on back. Let's see if you have the same meaning. Again, if you've played sports, then your meaning may be a little different, but honestly, they mean the same thing. So goal means... A target, not like the store target. Well, it is the target that's on the front. I love target, by the way. So a target or something to shoot or aim for. So a goal is a target or something to shoot or aim for. So again, I was always talking in sports. If you play soccer, your goal, you're trying to get the goal in. Um, you're trying to get the ball into the net. So you have a goalie there to try to stop you. If you play basketball, then the hoop is your goal. You're trying to get the ball into the hoop so that you can score points. And then if you play football, you have the field goal where um, you kick the ball through, um, so on and so forth. So that is a goal, but it's not the goal that we are gonna concentrate on today. We're thinking about personal things that you target for that may not be a sport. It could be a sport, but it may be something like, if you're thinking about school, to read um, at least for 20 minutes a day, to read more, um, to practice my math facts. Um, if it is a personal goal, it may mean to um, get to bed a little earlier, um, to wake up a little earlier. Um, fitness, it may be to work out um, however many days per week. And so that is one that I am um, going to stick with. So we are going to our sentence and your sentence can be as creative as you would like it to be as this is your personal goal, whatever you want. Can you have multiple um, goals? If we put an S on the end, yes, you sure can. So my sentence, my goal is to work out at least three times a week for 30 minutes. So my new year goal is to work out for 30 minutes a day for three days per week. So no matter what is happening, Miss Shantae is not going to 
let that interfere with her working out at least for three days a week at least 30 minutes if I so remember this is personal for you so choose whatever goal whatever target that you want to aim for that you want to shoot for this month this quarter or this year and go for it as always we hope that you enjoy chase champions until next time see ya